Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now a while ago I installed the official SteamOS on my budget gaming PC, essentially turning my desktop computer into a giant Steam Deck. It worked really well and some games even ran better than they did with Windows 11. The response to that video was really positive and since then I've had a lot of requests to explore Linux and Linux gaming a lot more. Today we're starting with Bazite. Bazite offers a SteamOS like experience but works with a wider range of devices. It comes with Steam pre-installed and you can even download it with the Steam gaming mode included so that it boots into the familiar big picture mode on startup. Of course it's not just Steam games, we can install other launchers from within Bazite too. To get started we need a PC. I decided to use this cheap HP machine that cost me about 50 quid. It has integrated Vega 11 graphics and works with Windows 11 but it is a little bit slow even when it comes to basic tasks. Hopefully Bazite will give it a new lease of life. I'm still pretty new to anything that isn't Windows so I won't call this a tutorial video more of a first impressions experience but I'll talk you through how I set this up anyway. Getting the right version of Bazite is pretty easy, we just click download and the site will take us down to some drop down options. Here we choose the hardware we're using, in this case it's a desktop PC. We can then choose our GPU vendor which includes AMD, Nvidia or Intel, yes this even works with Nvidia. I tried it briefly on my RTX 3050 and it ran really well. For this video we'll choose AMD of course under the modern GPU section. We then need to choose a desktop environment. I chose KDE in brackets like SteamOS. We can then choose whether or not we want Steam Gaming Mode. I chose yes, which will give us the big picture, controller friendly interface. Bear in mind that if you're using Nvidia hardware, then there may be a few issues as it's still in beta according to the site at the time of upload. After selecting the options you want and downloading the image, we can put it on a USB drive ready for install. Before this, I disabled autoplay in Windows and I'll tell you why in a minute. To get the Bazite image on the USB, I used a program called Fedora Media Writer. We can select our downloaded Bazite ISO from here before clicking write. I turned autoplay off before doing this because Windows tried to read the drive while it was writing and it actually made the Bazite installation fail. I can't remember what the error code was, but thanks to Reddit I found that disabling autoplay was the solution to my installation problems. Once this is finished we can take the USB and plug it into our cheap desktop. It booted straight into this screen that says test this media and install Bazite deck. It will then run through the installation before getting to this language select screen. After this we can set up a user account and change a few settings if we want to. All I did here was choose the installation destination option before selecting my SSD and clicking reclaim space. I'm not sure how this differs if you want to dual boot with Windows, but this PC has a very small drive, so I'm only installing Bazite. Nice to see that it works with a SATA SSD too. I could only install official SteamOS to an M.2 drive. Installation took a while on this hardware, but after it was done and I rebooted, we were presented with this blue screen, which pops up because my HP PC has secure boot enabled. All I did here was select enroll MOK and then entered the password universal blue, which won't show up when typing for security reasons. Installation continued with a preparing system screen and then an update before we landed on a familiar Steam setup screen. It's then a matter of entering your Steam login details and that's it. Oh, if the display looks washed out like mine did, then you may need to disable HDR from the settings. The Steam gaming mode is a little laggy on the Ryzen 5 2400G and integrated graphics and our 5120x1440p resolution probably doesn't help. Yeah, it certainly ran better when I changed things to 1080p. We still get the standard desktop mode as well, of course, which runs flawlessly and navigating Bazite, web browsing and installing Steam games this way felt a lot snappier. It felt much smoother than Windows 11 too. Now I actually ended up not using big picture mode at all. In fact, I even went back and downloaded Bazite again without it included for a more traditional desktop experience. I chose the same options from the Bazite site but selected no when it came to the Steam gaming mode option. Installation is the same, only when it got to the setup screen, I actually created a user account. This is because it'll boot to a login screen instead of straight into Steam gaming mode like before, as you can see here. 
I prefer this to be honest, it's better suited to everyday use as opposed to just pure gaming. Now Steam still comes installed, as does Lutris and Bazaar, which we can use to install other game launchers. I installed Heroic Games Launcher from here, which will combine Epic, GOG and Amazon Prime games into one library. I don't know if I'll make the switch permanently on my main PC, not yet anyway, but I will be putting together a few Linux based gaming builds that's for sure. It's just refreshing to use. It's early days for me in Linux, so I may sound like a bit of an idiot to those of you who are more familiar with it all, but I'm really enjoying the learning experience. Okay, so my HP machine has a Ryzen 2400G, 16 gigs of DDR4 and Vega 11 graphics. It's not great for gaming, but it's fun to play around with. Counter-Strike 2 can't hit 60 FPS, not even at low, and not even with 720p, but I ended up sticking with 1080p native because FSR didn't help us out either. We ended up with about 50 FPS overall, which was within a couple of frames of Windows 11, but it felt smoother, more consistent. This system can suffer when smoke fills the screen or when there's explosions going off. It might even drop 10 or 15 frames. Now it still dropped here under Bazite, but it didn't feel as severe as it did within Windows. I've been having a blast playing the original Red Dead Redemption on PC lately, and this one feels great under Bazite with the 2400G. It'll run with over 40 FPS a lot of the time at low, and it's super smooth. I don't think the 2400G is officially supported by Windows 11. It probably only works because I installed it with a different CPU in the PC and then swapped the SSD. Maybe that's why it doesn't seem as smooth, but either way, no complaints here. This was a very surprising result. I know this is an old console game at its heart, but honestly, this PC port looks excellent and is ideal for lower end machines. I don't know what I was thinking with Cyberpunk 2077. I ended up using FSR 3 performance mode with the lowest settings and according to the benchmark we averaged just under 30 FPS. I used GOG through the Heroic Games launcher to run this one. I'll probably add a graphics card to this PC at some point, something cheap that requires no power connectors. I was thinking AMD but I could even go with an Nvidia 1050 Ti or something like that now because I know that Bazite works with Nvidia cards as well. As I said earlier I tested it with my 3050 and even with the Steam gaming mode enabled it ran fine. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this one. Not much gaming in this video, but I wanted to share my initial experience with Bazite as someone who has mainly always used Windows. SteamOS 2, as of recently. It's been great familiarising myself with this, and hopefully this is just the beginning of some Linux-based PC builds. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you use this and what specs you have in your Bazite-based PC. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and you want to, of course, and hopefully, I'll see all of you in the next one.